<laughs> All right. Here we go. Welcome to episode 18, Venture Ventures D&D streaming show and podcast, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. We're actually on the ground floor of Avernus now. I'm Jake, the DM in hell. Hopefully, uh, I'm not as bad as some of the DMs in hell right now, but um, we'll get started in a second. And I'll do a recap after we go around the horn uh, and ask people what they took when they leveled. Brian. Oh, uh, I am now a <laughs> relentless Avenger. Um, sorry, I have dogs that That's are cool. acting up. Um, when I hit a creature with an opportunity attack, I can move up to half my speed immediately after the attack. And as part of the same reaction, without provoking any opportunity attacks myself. Nice. And that's what I got. Just that. Dave. Uh, my uh, barbarian gets feral instinct. Uh, you have advantage on initiative rolls. So I got the little green A now where it says initiative. And don't forget that. Uh, it just I, I'm very tough to surprise. So I don't I don't really know how that works in 5e, but I, I don't and I don't think we've encountered it. It it just I'm means just that you would not, sure, not but, yeah. be surprised. You would yeah. So I just I can do a normal action when other people would be surprised. Yeah. Um, as long as I rage as my first bonus act. If, if I do a bonus action of rage immediately, then I'm allowed to do a normal action. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Roz, Rolikos. I took my second level of cleric. And acquired the Sacred Flame Cantrip, Healing Word, and Guiding Bolt as first level spells. Classic. Classic cleric. Yep. Gary, what did the wizard take? The wizard now has Blight. Ooh. Oh. Nice. Yeah. That's your... Because you got a fourth level? Yeah. What does Blight Blight do? Makes food rot ton of damage <laughs> it sucks lots the life out of, of stuff and god forbid any poor plants cross our path down here yep there it's a verdant place this hell <laughs> forests <laughs> everywhere lush green as far as the eye can see yeah blight would be amazing in like a feywild campaign uh cool well that's everyone i wish i could have leveled up but you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to level up every NPC I'm playing did Lulu in level? this campaign. She did, uh, but it's really not. Would Rhea exciting. have leveled? Rhea would. She, <laughs> Had you not let her die? <laughs> she would have leveled. Uh, what? How about the Kenku? The Kenku did not. Uh, oh. And um, we'll say just for. Um, Oh, narratively, for the narrative, well, you leveled on the previous long rest, um, just to make it make a little more sense, rather than just in front of the Kenkus, you guys all just go, whoa, I know more <laughs> shit. Uh, Aura of like a gold shine yeah. appears around each of us. Yeah. I can no longer be surprised. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, Except for that last seven. surprise. Spe speaking of, um, so if we're doing that, then um, mm -hmm. we wouldn't really have to worry about resetting like hit points. Um, but I think you guys reset hit points anyways, right? Uh, I'm at push full. the button. So, some of us may have made choices what do you mean reset? that got us a little hurt. After we rested, maybe. Um, I mean, like, <laughs> something. I don't remember if when you level a character, does it automatically? No, it, keep, no, it okay. keeps it. I think you have the option, but it kept mine. I'm still my max went up, but I'm still at my same current. Okay, that's yeah, fine. I didn't. I didn't take any damage last game. So. And it's really more up to you guys how um, you want to play this. That this portion of the, the campaign where it's if you want to be 
have a continuity with hit points or if you're just cool with I'm fine jumping the shark kind of uh anyways so yeah. did you guys do something because I missed last game did you guys do something after the long rest yeah I'll, yeah. I, okay. I was about to get into the recap Got it. uh Sorry. previously rescued older raven guard who had the helm of torm stuck on his head it had been corrupted with some demon some sort of demonic embrace from the abyss and a ritual uh, had to be performed according to a priestess of of uh, torm and the ritual consisted of going to the massive hand shaped altar in the uh, cathedral of El Terrell, finding a worthy item, uh, relic of Torm, which turned out to be a sword found in the catacombs. And Jerry held it there while the priestess uh, did a 30-second prayer to kind of break the, the hold of the abyssal effects and hopefully return older Ravenguard to his former self. And while they were doing that, some Will-O-Wisps appeared and uh, tried to attack Jerry. And um, right. they they did attack Jerry. And also the abyssal effects of uh, from the helm tried to attack Jerry every round. And Jerry failed all his saving throws, except for maybe, I don't know, I was I went for like two of seven or something. I'm yeah, it was rough. It was <laughs> important rough. question. Yeah, uh, did Jerry purchase anything from any telemarketers? No, no. <laughs> no, the telemarketers the... didn't didn't show up last. That would have been the right time for them to call. Of <laughs> yeah. course, I felt I like that would have been all of that. A little rough. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> added more psychic damage. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. and uh, as a note to people, know your uh, know your skills, people, because. You would have been like five for seven if the paladin had remembered to uh, turn on his aura. It was on. Doesn't you even just, have yeah. to turn on. He just has to say something. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> we all forget things. Uh, I forget about Lulu half the time. Uh, <laughs> Andrea. <laughs> oh, she's dead. Yeah, she's dead. Um, <laughs> conveniently. Uh, yeah, and then after the ritual, it was broken, and older after an hour came back. Woke up, came back to um, the infernal plains of Avernus and said he wanted to stay there and protect El Terrell. Uh, requested that the Bean Squad try to save El Terrell and Baldur's Gate from uh, just go out there and try to reverse what happened and promised some. Um, monetary rewards from Baldur's Gate and there's a bunch of reasons why you'd want to try to save El Terrell. The most important of which is that we're playing a D&D game and uh, <laughs> we uh, there need to play D&D <laughs> so find a reason. Uh, maybe there's an infinite amount of oranges at the end of this adventure. Who knows? Just find what a reason. Beans? Beans, maybe, yes. Maybe there's a tree of lots of fruit. Yeah. Is that one of the beans, the bean, the uh, effects of the uh, bag yeah. of beans? Yeah. I be yeah. I believe that happened in our other campaign. It did. Yeah. 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 Um, the tree. Then uh, they had to figure out how to get down for, from uh, El Terrell down to the ground floor of Avernus, cited the best course of action because there was no fly spell available for some odd reason, uh, decided. To <laughs> oh yeah. That so so there Jarvis was a fly spell, Jarvis, but, but Jarvis but, apologized but, to each of us individually. <laughs> Jarvis Jarvis later apologized when the night that he learned his fly spell, and you guys were all sleeping. He was practicing, and fell about twenty feet from the sky because he had no idea what he was doing and didn't want to do it with you guys. I wonder what, the what happened is I didn't know that he was about to write it into his spell book on the long rest yeah. that we took right before going down that chain. Yeah. Yeah. So there was supposed to be a fly spell. There was a very convenient fly spell. Yeah. I told Jake and he's like, that 
it's hilarious. That's awesome. <laughs> and it was cool. awesome. Uh, it is awesome. But you we guys made it down. But well, we got it down. <laughs> by climbing down the massive chains, pulling Eltreld to the ground. Uh, and then you had to figure out how to get to essentially across the river where Lulu saw Fort Knucklebone when she flew high into the air. Um, and you had to avoid a battle, an ongoing battle of the blood war between demons and devils. Uh, you also met a demon oh, who was having a rough day, having a rough day and drinking a lot. Turns out they don't drink just alcohol in hell. Uh, Kairos found out that they drink straight up poison. Because you can drink poison when you're immune. His name is Zazrog. Zazrog. Perfect. His boss is Argrar. <laughs> oh, Argrar. man. Thanks. The things player take notes of. No, it's great. Uh, <laughs> Zazrog wolf demon having a bad day. Yeah. Argrar giving him shit. Yeah. I also have Argar giving him shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like when past Jake can make, you know, present Jake laugh at something stupid like that. <laughs> um, so you guys made it across the river by giving... Um, wait, you gave the soul coin to the Moreno Loth, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Jarvis, the... take your uh, soul coin out of your inventory. So... Uh, I talked to Brian about this. I'm not the one who had the soul coin. Oh, well, one who of us it? had it. <laughs> I don't know, but it wasn't me. I checked all my notes in my inventory. I didn't have it. All right. Someone has it, or maybe not. Not uh, anymore. Unless, unless I completely forgot one. to write it down anywhere in my notes, but I guess that's possible. It's it's fine. Uh, it's gone now. And uh, as you're approaching the direction you needed to go, you came across a massive Mad Max-like vehicle covered in infernal iron and spikes and blades and some Kenku look looked like they were working on it or something. And you approached and met Chucka and Clonk. And <clears throat> um, I believe you told them you had another soul coin to use in the machine. No, we told them we didn't, so we couldn't get the machine going. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's where we left off. So, uh, Clonk is kind of the strong, silent type, so Chuck is the one doing most of the talking and um, says, Soul coin? Soul coin? Not here? Not here. Soul coin, no. Where do we get one? Um, Chuck is kind of thinking, uh, dead bodies. And uh, we got to go kill some demons. Dead bodies of demons? Demons. Yeah. And devils. And uh, let's go kill some. Chuck a says Mad Maggie also has some and uh, Chucka Clonk Clonk kind of makes a noise and Chucka looks at him and then looks out into the distance and sees a dust kicking up and Chucka says well maybe we can find them there and uh Pretty far distance away. Make a perception check, everyone. 21. Ooh, Thank God. 19. <laughs> so, 19. Woo! Everyone except Rollercoast. Uh, you see... Or sharpshooter. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. He's uh, eating his snacks. And he prefers high, you know, true, true. high places. Yeah. Uh, you see another infernal war machine heading this way, and as it gets closer, you see helming it this this boar humanoid boar kind of thing going on. It's a were boar, 
Um, and you see two other werebores. <laughs> a and, <were-bore. laughs> and you see two other were rats. Uh, what in, is it when it's not a full moon? There's no moon in Avernus. Uh-huh. Just, oh, then it's full, just a boar. No, it can it can be a hybrid, which is what it is. A man boar. A man before boar. anything else. <laughs> I like how Dave had like <laughs> as like is this is how that. this works. This is... <laughs> <laughs> no, how is it a boar? It should just be a boar. Uh, what were you saying, uh, Rod? Um, before anything else, I'm gonna look at Chunka and be like, kill Chunka. Uh, K- kill them? Question like, oh, can't run. Kill. But that's uh, that's boar, uh, b o r e or b o a r. So <laughs> I have. <laughs> You're just really boring on the fun, whatever the hybrid I boring. I have six hundred feet of undisadvantaged range okay. with my longbow. Um, I'll let you know when they get in that range. Okay. Uh, Chucka says, "Raga draga," and uh, what does that mean? Werebo raga draga. Uh, it's his name, I think. Raga draga, and uh, they start getting in various positions on the vehicle, um, mainly to be protected. Uh, One of them, Clonk gets in one of the seats um, that is for the harpoon flingers. Uh, It's about this time, roller coast, that they get in the 600 feet range. Let's roll initiative, and then we'll, uh, it'll be, get to your turn, and they'll be well within range. Oh, oh, no. that's the one I like. That's Dave, like. you get advantage. I know it didn't help me though. Twelve. Oh. Can I have advantage? Um, Are you a barbarian, a level seven barbarian. Do you have a reason? <laughs> no, I just don't want my nat one. Oh well. It, it, no, I'm just really paying attention. If you would have given me a good reason, even if it was made up, I might. If it was a clever, clever enough reason, I would have allowed it. <laughs> So uh, let's go reverse one to five. <laughs> Dude. What? Oh, wait, no, wait, hold on. No, you have modifiers. Three. Clean up crew. Did you guys happen to find me a hundred GP pearl? Last we time? looked. We did. Boy, we did we honestly, look? <laughs> honestly, Gary, they did. They we spent an hour of the two-hour session. They were just combing. <laughs> The first hour, they had to find a sifter, <laughs> and they found a sifter just in the rubble of. I feel hell. like I have to go listen. It took we like tried to rubble. find some were oysters <laughs> and convince them to take a pearl for us. A were so oyster is it's in a the man river sticks with an oyster head. <laughs> he just squirts water. And I finally a pearl. I finally made it to, I'm not very far, the episode in Critical Role where she tries to use a spell and realizes all this time she's she's had a spell prepared and she couldn't use it because she doesn't have the material cost. Because it was yes. also a pearl Always have the material or something like that. Campaign one or two? A, two, episode 20. Oh, okay. It was a... Oh, well, that's a, a while ago. A, a while ago. Swap. Yeah, I'm way behind. We've all forgotten those We, we just hit episode 98. So. Yeah. I'm, they they I'm already big. have a whole new set of characters, Gary. Wait, what? They're level 42 now. (laughs) What? With the new set of characters. Anyways, this is... Anyway, sorry. I didn't realize Um, you could go past 20. You can't. Critical (laughs) role tangents. Yeah. You can go past 20 if the DM decides you can go past 20. Uh, And then the DM will just have to figure something out. Handing out boons and feats like nobody's business. Um where was I? Five to ten initiative. That's what I was doing. Five to ten. Did we get a five to ten from you? Oh no. About three. Yeah, well, I already did that. Ten to fifteen. Twelve. Oh yeah, twelve. Twelve, twelve, twelve. Then I'm at sixteen. Okay. And you would want to trade. Oh dude, I gotta start shooting these guys from six hundred feet away. All right, uh, they're in your range, and it is your turn, Rolikos. What are you aiming for? Are, um, you, are you aiming to, at like, 
I guess at you... 600 feet, how well can I see this thing? With your previous perception roll, I guess I could have you roll My another passive person. is 14. No, oh, well, that would be your... Uh, you can see f- barely figures on the... 600 feet is two football fields. You yeah. Can see, you could see... Um, is there someone, like, on top? There's, it's not open. They're going to have cover. It's not open. Um, okay. There's metal everywhere. You think it's probably... You ignore cover, but... Because um, you're a fucking sharpshooter. And I'm just remembering <laughs> that. Um, so, uh, yeah, you see some figures on there. You can't really know. Are you, you, you see someone behind a wheel. You see people next to these... Uh, next to these harpoon cannon things. And you see someone kind of in the back, and you see this large spiked ball swinging back and forth. I'm going to see if I can aim at either of the people in the harpoon cannon. All that right. dangerous. How about it? So I'm going to take my first... Dude, let's just go hard on this first round. I'm going to take my first four shots using my channel divinity to gain a bonus action attack. Okay. And then I'm going to sharpshooter all of them. You're about to ruin somebody's day. So I will do my last attack as my... Okay. I will do my last attack as my dread ambusher. So that's the one that gets the extra damage. Okay. First one. It's only plus five. 14 to hit. Yes, it hits. Second attack is way higher. 23. 16, and then another 23. So they all hit. Okay. Which means that's a lot of deeds. Plus 4, it's 8. That's a d4, that's not a d8. Here we go. Eight. 8, 13, so 23 damage on the first hit. Nice. 21 damage on the second hit. Okay, that one's dead. Can I switch to the other yep. harpooner? 18 damage on the third hit. Mm-hmm. Get wrecked. Plus 5 is 17. 27 damage on the fourth hit. The two harpooners, you're Damn sure are dead. Fantastic. And their names were Yiga and Finnick. They were were rats. They had families, and they were trying to save mm. enough money to send their were rat kids to college. You <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> well, they shouldn't have manned a harpoon gun against the B squad. <laughs> against Rollico specifically. Add insult to injury. The Bean Squad killed them. Yeah. Great. Anything else, Roller Ghost? Uh, nope. That'll be it. Great. Very. <laughs> uh, they're about three hundred feet away. Are you, are you saying Jerry? Jerry. I thought you said Gary. For That's what I thought I heard too. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. <clears throat> um. Let's see. I don't I'm think gonna you can. T- so can I see individual? Do I have the perception to, to see individual? What's your passive? Guys? Uh, passive perception. perception is fourteen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the ready action and ready my javelin. Okay. What in, until they're within range? Yeah. Which is what again? On One ja- twenty. Okay. One twenty. At disadvantage, I'm assuming. One twenty. Is it thirty? One twenty. Yeah. Yeah, so it would be at disadvantage. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I was debating between that and just dodge, but I'm going to go with ready. Okay. Um, it's now the Tormentor's... Excuse me. It's the Tormentor's turn, uh, which will uh, trigger Clonk's action. I, th- I believe I put a... A stat block. <clears throat> Indeed, you did. For the tormentor. 
And if one of you wants to roll for Clonk shooting the one working harpoon flinger. Nice. Sure. Ooh. It's a 26. Nice. Oh, we knocked out both harpooners. This no. is on our machine, our yeah. friend's machine. Oh, R, got it. That makes sense. So even though we don't have a pearl, or not a pearl, <laughs> even <laughs> though we don't have a soul coin, it's still the harpoons work? Uh, this this it worked once. We'll see yeah, if that... it works again. Oh, you need damage probably, huh? Too. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, that was less good. Eight points of damage. Okay, this harpoon shoots and uh, <clears throat> hits the demon grinder and clinks off. Not ha doesn't seem like it had any effect on the armor, even though it hit. Um, there's a threshold you need to hit to actually cause some, some harm. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And the demon grinder is now within range. Sir Jerry at disadvantage. Nice. Damn, this thing's fast. Yeah. <laughs> you got 600 feet oh, in one man. turn. Oh, uh, let's see. Dash. Uh, yeah. 12. 12. Nope. Damn it. It's going to be tough to find that javelin, but I'm, I'm going to try to go <laughs> try to go do it afterwards. <laughs> he starts <laughs> running after it right now. <laughs> no, no. Jogging. No. Off into the infernal waste. That'd be funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Ragged Drag is going to keep doing his thing. Jarvis, how far away is it now? 120. 120, cool. I'm going to... Exactly 120, perfect. I'm going to shoot a firebolt after... There was a guy behind the wheel. I'm going to throw a firebolt at him. Okay, he has cover, unless you have some... Uh, feet. No. Okay, all right. Uh, why am I on the wrong page? Sorry. Um, uh, mod 20. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> wow. A whopping three damage. Okay. Sad face. Sad face. And you let off the firebolt, and as it's traveling, you see another werebore kind of come up, poke its head up, looking around, sees sees uh, two dead were rats, and uh, dips its head again. Where uh, did he pop out from? Just the middle of the okay. machine. Um, these things are akin to... Well, they're like Mad Max, but if you haven't seen Mad Max... Uh, think of... In Star Wars, Return of the Jedi... Those barges... Um, that they drop people into the Sarlacc pit from. Mm. Uh, but much larger and... Put a bunch of armor around it and below it so like the, it's like a top platform or like a float i could have gone with like a parade float uh all of these can work if i was they... picturing the uh the giant um god what are those guys in called where they the scrap guys where they just collect a bunch of stuff in star wars that big giant rolling they have windows that they open and shoot out oh of. the uh, jawas yeah, Jawas. I was yeah. thinking of the big vehicle. Sand like. crawler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's sim it's not as big as that, but it's that's a good that's a good pull. Um, anything else? Nope. Okie dokie. Kairos. It's 120 feet away, you said. Yes, sir. Mm. Not quite close enough. I'll run 30 feet forward and take the dodge action. Okay. And that is what I will do. 
You're going to stand in this thing's way? You're a bold man. Well, we'll see what's going to happen. I'm trying to... Trying oh, to I thought we were standing... Trying to make the I right we were standing on the other here. vehicle. We had I all just, climbed up. No, we're... I hadn't. I, I figured we were Got all it. standing around the vehicle. Unless, oh, unless you told me uh, I, you were not on the vehicle, you were just I, standing around it. I would have moved my used my movement then to get on the vehicle. I thought we were all on it. Yeah, we were all on the vehicle last game. We climbed okay. up. Yeah, well, that's what I remember. I don't know. We were we were getting the tour. One of you, I thought one of you was uh, Jerry or someone, but it doesn't matter. You guys can be on it if you want. Um, I am not. Jarvis right. used his movement to get on it. Cool. It is now the Rolicosa's turn. All right. I am going to bonus action use my or cast divine favor on myself, which gives me an extra d4 radiant damage on hit as a concentration. And then I am going to take two attacks at the driver with sharpshooter. 16, 21. At the driver. Yes. Uh, the 16 just hits, and uh, excuse me, you ignore cover. What am I saying? It hits. Both of them hit. Six, two, seven. Uh, 17 regular, 3 radiant damage to that guy. For the first hit. Okay. And the second hit is 21 regular, 3 radiant. Uh, you, you audibly hear the person driving it, Raga Draga, scream out in pain as you nail him in the chest twice. Uh... Now it's the two werebores' turns, and one of them is going to climb into one of the harpoon seats, pull out his dead buddy, and the other one is on the wrecking ball and can't do anything. Uh, but the harpoon can happen, so let me roll for that. Not me, it's a disadvantage. The guys are on this thing. If it's at you, it's a disadvantage. I'm dodging. Oh right, yeah. No, it's at the um, at the uh, tormentor. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right, that misses, and we're back to you, Jerry. Oh wow. Um, I am gonna run down next to Kairos and also take the dodge action. Okay. That guy's dead. Ragged Drag is going to... Mm, yeah, he's going to keep going, and he's going to... <sighs> he's going to speed right by you, Kairos and Jerry, and is going to um, allow the other wearboar who was holding his, his action to use the Wrecking Ball on the Tormentor. All right. What is this thing? It's like a, like a big... It's a bigger version crane of... Crane that, like, the, swing the Wrecking Ball. <laughs> it's a big... Think of, like, a, a massive tow truck with a yeah. Wrecking Ball in the back connected yeah. to, the, to the boom. Oh. Uh. So it just it drags it behind it. It can, or it can articulate and swing it. Um, and it, the wheels of this thing are also made of uh, several, like massive skill saw blades. So that would be more akin to a logging camp. Those type of massive circular blades. And um, yeah, it's. Gonna nope. hit the uh, the tormentor and do that much damage. Jerry's just like I know they're attacking us, but that thing's dope. 
You're not wrong, Jerry. How does Kairos feel one. about it? I want one. I mean, it's nice, but it's no uh, infernal horse, so I mean, I could do better. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Hits it. That would have been a thing to do for this fight. What's Four Lulu doing? Two. Fuck, I forgot about Lulu again. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I did too until just this moment. <laughs> God damn it. It's not like she can do anything anyways. Sexist. <laughs> you know what? I'll admit to it. Against Holofants, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, all right. He, he always listens to the male holophants. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like the female holophants are speaking a speaking a different language. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna join the improvisation of this and make it sound terrible. How how big is this vehicular that we're attacking in feet? In it's a gargantuan vehicle. So like got, twenty feet? Yeah, six wheels made of circular blades in in line. It's Gilbert got a magic. massive maw. So the whole vehicle probably fits in like within like 20 feet. Gargantuan is bigger than that, I it's think. It's 25, I think, gargantuan. Yeah. 25 okay. or more. Cool. It's like a boat. <laughs> uh... I wish you. I wish you would just tell me what you're. Uh, it's fine. Um, I'll, I, I'll say it on my next turn. Sorry, I was just asking okay. so I can think. And, and have my there's ready. gonna be a mishap with the old tormentor as it gets smashed real freaking hard with this wrecking ball. Um, it when it smashes, you hear a loud screeching and whistling, and then it you realize it's screaming. The infernal furnace. The engine of this thing has just been pierced. Uh, Can't be good. And it's leaking soul. Oh, just no. soul. <laughs> wow. The soul ignite. Possibly. Jarvis. Jarvis casts sleep on the center of the vehicular. Uh -huh. uh, I assume it's within 90 feet of me at this point. Yes. Cool. So I cast sleep with on it is, the it is the... within 30 feet. Cool. And I'm just going to roll it on here. And it starts with the person with the most hit points, right? No. Those... Rude. <laughs> Which channel can we do it? And I forget. Probably uh, the rolling channel. That would help. I never use this. Ah, 38, 33, can't read. 33. Uh, it has no effect on any of them. What? Badness. You did it at first level, right? Yeah. Does it increase at a higher level? Uh, it's just extra D8. Oh. Um, yeah, no, no effect. Anything else you want to do? Uh, get off of this vehicle and run away. Okay. Run um, back. Ooh, like, yeah, I should have had you all who's on the vehicle roll a uh, athletics check. Oh, I will then. I'll say it was. Or fun. acrobatics if you're not trying to hold on. Can I, like, jump off? Yeah, well, like, yeah, and that would be acrobatics. Oh. Are you trying to stay on? Oh. You're trying to jump off? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Roll. Oh, the acrobatics was the stay. To, I have to, to roll jump to stay off. on and to get off? Oh, okay. Acrobatics to jump off. Athletics okay, yeah. if you're trying to hold on as it gets slammed. Oh, got it. No, I'm trying to jump off. So, I, yeah, I rolled a five. Okay. Trying to jump off. You take eight bludgeoning damage from the fall. I rolled a 14 to get off. Okay, you're fine. And the other two are on the ground already, dodging in the air, just randomly making... Lithe and smooth movements. All right. Kairos. 
Um, could I, since it's 30 feet away, could I get on it with my 30 feet of movement? Um, you'd need to use your action to uh, do an athletics. Bonus action, Misty Step, right onto that bitch. There you go. And then I'm going to start wailing on whatever werebore I can reach with uh, <laughs> my morning star. Okay, you can you can hit um, Ozzy Wog, the guy who who got on the uh, harpoon harpoon flinger. All right, let's go, Ozzy Wog. That is not awesome. Uh, <laughs> Fifteen. Yes. Awesome enough uh, for twelve points of damage. Okay. And then 20, mod 20, for 9 points of damage. Okay, anything else? Uh, no, that is all of my stuff. Okay. I will brace myself for whatever is coming my way. Rollercoast. <laughs> Two shots at the driver again, sharpshooter. Natural 20. Oh, nice. And a one. So that balances out. Thank you for making sure the bell curve is respected. <laughs> Anyone who gets a 50% on their test doesn't suck. 10 plus 5 is 15. Plus, so 25 regular. Sweet fuck. And then 12 Radiant. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. It's very so injured. <laughs> uh, Raga Draga. All right. It's now the other Werebore's turn. Christ, that's so much damage. Uh, <laughs> it's all sharpshooter. It's the plus ten to every hit. Yeah, the werebores are going to get out of their seat, and uh, can't do that. It's going to multi-attack Kairos with one with its tusks, one with a maul. All right. Fucking can't see that. Oh, that's a six. That's not going to hit. Oh, I rolled two sixes. So that's an yeah. 11 for both of them. Does that hit a paladin? No, no sir. <laughs> I, I just let my armor take it. I don't even block it with my <laughs> They're still like, the vehicle's moving and, you know, not that they, they're perfectly practiced in moving around this vehicle. So it's embarrassing for them. Uh, that was just the one, though. So the next one is going to try. Sure, sure. And two nines. I just rolled two sixes and then two nines. So that's 14 uh, on a paladin. That's going to hit, right? No. Okay. The first one, this one, I knock away with my shield. And then the second one, I just let hit my chest while I look at him disappointed. Fair <laughs> enough. You hear it squeal a little bit. Jerry. Right, is the... Is Ragged Dragon coming about? Like, is he coming at us again? Or? Yeah, he's coming about around. You don't know where he's going, what he's going to do, but he's within 30 feet. The vehicle is, at least. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Uh, so, is it moving? It's not moving further away from me, so can I run up to it? You can. You'll have to use your action if you want to jump onto it. Uh, yeah, I want to jump onto it. To do an athletics check. Yeah. Go ahead. What I want to do? All right. Ooh. Um, let's see here. Athletics. 21. Yeah. You're on the, Sweet. you're on the demon, the, uh, the demon grinder. Nice work. Uh, you have a bonus action. Anything you'd want to do? Mm. Is there, uh, like, can I grab one of the, uh, have they been shooting the harpoon thing? Uh, they were, but now they're out of the the uh, turret positions for the weapons, and they're fighting Kairos. Oh, Kairos is in there too. Yes, he oh, misty cool. stepped onto. Got it. Got there. it. Um, 
Mm, I can't really. I'm not good at bonus actions. I don't know what else I can do. I just you could rage. rage. Uh, this is rage for two people. Um, I don't know. I can serve it now. I'm just gonna just gonna get ready to kick their ass my next turn. Okay. Uh, that guy's dead, and Raga Draga, being very hurt, is gonna yell at them to kill these fools. We're getting out of here. And is going to fucking gun it. And is going to get uh, 200 feet away. Is he the driver? Is he yes. not dead also? No, he's not dead. Oh, I thought I just killed the driver. No. He's very yeah. hurt. I said I said repeatedly, it was uh. a lot of fucking damage in different ways and forms. But okay. I didn't say he was dead. Uh, yeah, he's going to get away, so he's going to be far away. With Cairo still on it. And Jerry. And Jerry. <laughs> it's fine. We're, we're fine. No, I know. It's just they're not really getting away from anything. Uh, we'll find yeah. out. Yeah. Well, they're getting away from freaking roller coasters. They're just getting like, away from roller coasters. Trying. They trying. trying. They're not gone yet. <laughs> and I can be pretty quick if I need to. Jarvis. That's true. Um, so they're 200 feet away at this point? Yes. Oh, that totally fucked what I was going to do. I think, sorry. It's cool. I had something planned. Um, 200 feet away. That only goes 120 feet. Um, I guess I'm going to... Ah, oh, fudge. Um, feel pretty powerless. The only thing, give him haste. Give him an extra attack. Do do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I feel like it's a waste for them running away, but I'm gonna give Rolico's haste and give him an okay. extra attack. All right. And does that double my move speed? Um, I know it adds to it. It does. <laughs> uh, that gives me two your... AC. Yeah, advantage on dexterity saving throws, additional action on each turn. I thought it gave you extra. It gives you an. Oh, it gives you an extra dash technically. Or it gives you that action can be used to do that. I thought it gave you extra movement. Oh, target speed is doubled. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I can't read. Sorry. Yeah. So. All right. Extra attack plus two, and your speed's doubled. Kairos. By the way, I'm just skipping Chucka and Clonk because they have nothing to do. They can't fire their harpoon again, and they don't have any capabilities. So. What about Lulu? Lulu, I don't... Oh, we've given up on Lulu. Got I, it. I fucked up, so I'm not going to try to... <laughs> I was like, I feel like Lulu hasn't done anything today. Lulu found a little flower, and it's just looking Lulu at it. Lulu is looking at a f- infernal flower that has teeth. <laughs> Still thinks it's pretty. Kairos. Uh, can I hit Raga Draga, the driver? You want to disengage from the two that you're engaged with? That's what I was wondering, how, how far away. So I'd have to move to him Yes. to do that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to move to him to do that and take the attacks. All right. If they oh. would like to attack me. They would. Nothing's hit you yet, so. Uh, 24. Oh, there it is. <laughs> One's gonna hit me. And a 19. That one also hits me. Two D six plus three. Iris, I was about right to give there. you haste, but that went out the way. Twenty four oh, okay. bludgeoning damage total. Alrighty. Ow. And you are now away from them, and you can hit the driver. Um, before I hit the driver, um, my um, should I? Should I? No, I'm just going to hit the driver. He's pretty hurt already, right, you said? Yes. He's, he's looking pretty rough. Yes, he's got multiple arrows sticking out of him. Yeah. Okay. Most of them are not broken. Impressive. Um, I'm going to just bash down at his head and miss with a 10, I'm sure. Uh, barely, yes. Barely miss or barely hit? Barely miss. Oh, yeah, okay. <sighs> <laughs> nope. Three and a one. Now that's unfortunate. 
took 24 points of damage for that three and that one. I'm glad it turns I out. Waste my smite. <laughs> hey, you should try standing 300 feet away like Rolokos. <laughs> Rolokos, uh, is there anything else you want to do, Kairos? Are you good? Okay. Rolokos. Okay. So, with this extra dash action, plus my feline agility... Let's carry double your speed. Can I just tell me what the movement is? I'm see, I'm not sure how the calculation works. So you get a dash with the haste or something? The, the, yeah, the haste so gives me 30. a three dash. So what's your normal movement? Thirty. So sixty. And then my feline agility lets me double that. So yeah. one twenty? Yes. So you'd be within eighty feet. But then my move speed is doubled. <laughs> okay, so let's reverse that. <laughs> and so your move speed will be 120, and then with feline ag- agility, agility, you could be right next to the fucking. <laughs> I guess yes. it's like it's it's like a it's like the road runner. Yeah, but Ooh. I just want to make sure that I get at an angle to where I can see the driver and shoot him. So I'm assuming it's the car; it's turned away from. Me. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. And then I will take my two shots at the driver. I like how I was like, the only thing I could do is give him hate. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. Two shots. Mod 20 and a 21. Yep. So. Rangers are so weak, you guys. <laughs> so, they need to be retooled. <laughs> it's 11 plus 10. It's 21 regular, 3 radiant. Bye bye. Yep. Nineteen regular, one radiant. You kill it. You kill Raga Draga. Yeah, good. And I would just be like, <sighs> it took it took a lot out of me to run that fast. Yeah. Can't do that again next turn. I message him as I see him make off. Did you make it? Yep. yep. It's out of 120 feet. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gone. Twenty feet. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> you took off. Okay, it's the Werebore's turn, and they're going to keep wailing on Kairos with their turn this time. Tusks and Maul. The first one, Tusk and Maul, at a 11 and 10. That's not going to do it. The second Werebore. Wow. Uh, that's a 13 and a 6. Nope. Yeah, uh, that's shit. Jerry, what do you want to do? You're on oh, this sweet. thing. My turn. Nice. I go just take out my maul and whack those whack uh, one of the guys that's attacking Kairos in the back. Yep. Ow! <laughs> so fifteen. Okay. Yes. Hits. It hits. Okay. Oh, sorry, I haven't done this in a while. Uh, let's see. Uh, How long has it been? No, I haven't used my mall. Uh, last week I didn't use my mall at all. Oh, you didn't? I don't think so. No, we, we didn't have combat last week. Oh, there's potential for combat, but you didn't fail your skill challenge. Uh, 14? Yes. I swing again. Oh, nat 20. And that's 16 damage. So do I double it? Uh, for the nat 20, you da- you double the dam- the die damage, not the what you added to it. So whatever the die rolled, you double that. Okay. Shoot. What did I say? There 16, 10. So 20, 26. Okay. Anything else? No, I'm good. All right. I didn't kill it? Nope. Damn. Oh, man. It takes me two attacks. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you guys think werebores are so weak? <laughs> well, because uh, I don't know. I was just listening to, I guess, yeah, Rollercoaster's attacks. And they were getting killed from hundreds of feet away. I just made them seem like, I don't know. You shouldn't even be in hybrid form. The moon's not out. <laughs> just, like, swinging at him like, what are you? This is like, illegal. Tell me your were- werebores. What is that? <laughs> Ragged Dragon's dead. Jarvis, what do you want to do? Um, the machine is coasting along, and it's 300 feet out now. 
Jarvis can't do jack diddly squat. Jack diddly <laughs> squat. <laughs> I like Jarvis that. is just going to start running towards his party and to go 60 feet. Okay. Kairos. I guess I should set about these guys, see if I can hit one of them, maybe. Another nat one. No. And a much better roll. Okay. 20-something. Um, yep. But a uh, one on the damage on that one, so that is seven. Okay. I'm effective this fight. Anything else? No, sir. <laughs> uh, Rollercoast. So I will just use my extra dash action to dash again. Okay, so you're right next but to I'm, it again. I'm only at 120 feet now. Yeah, because you're I still, can't just be line you're still next to it. Fantastic. I just want to <laughs> shoot at whatever my party is fighting. Either one of them. Okay. Whichever one I can see best. Sharpshooter. It's a natural 20. Yep. Oh my god, it's going to be like 50 damage. And, no, and an 8. So... Twenty-seven regular, two radiant. Okay. Anything else? That is it. Werebor's turns. They're going after one is going after Kairos with the two attacks. That's a twenty-one and a thirteen. Just the first. Just the first. Yes. That is 14 bludgeoning damage for you, Kairos. And the other one's going after Jerry. And that's going to be a 16 and a 18 to hit Jer. Yeah, they both hit. Okay. Ty goes to the attacker, right? Yeah. Uh, that's 9 damage from the maul. And the tusks are... 11 slashing damage. And it's your turn, Jerry. I think you're muted. Definitely muted. Sorry, my AC turned on. Oh, it's cool. Um, 17 to hit? Yes, sir. Also, we cannot hear your AC. Or at least I can. 15. Nice. Nearly dead. Anything else? Yes. Yeah, swing another. Swing them all again. 16 to hit? Yes. 14. Damn. Dead. Yeah. I, uh, I, I hit him right on top of the head. Crunch. And he, and it's his, his, uh, his boar head like peels back and it's just like a human like a like a face <laughs> Ew. there. That's a great visual, but still gross. And I mean, I'm like, really... oh like you just it's just like a person underneath the boar. And his face, weirdly enough, his expression is like <laughs> it's really disconcerting and ugh. uh okay. Jerry, that's your turn. Yes. Uh, the the car is still in cruise mode. It's going to go another 100. <laughs> Jesus. Jarvis, it's your turn. Jarvis just keeps running up <laughs> another 60 feet. You're so over are you, 300 feet Are you back. dashing every time? Yeah. What's yeah. your constitution? Huh? What's your constitution modifier? Plus two. Okay, so you're getting real tired. Okay. Uh, I just, yeah. Kairos, one is left. One is left, and that's the one in front of me, right? Yes. Then I guess I have to hit it. Well, try. Uh, that one hits. That's 21 yep. for 10 points of damage. Okay. And that one also hits. Hooray. Um an 18 for another 10 points of damage. Okay, anything else? No. No. That's not what I should have done. Too late now. Yep. Totally forgot what my HP was. 
Uh, We're good. Okay. Roller coaster. <laughs> say that with your out loud voice. <laughs> uh, just use my dash again to keep up with these guys. Indeed. And take a shot. I'm actually faster than it, if it matters. Two sharpshooters. I know you're faster than it, but I assume you're not like just. I'm just keeping myself at whatever angle I have to. Yeah. So first sharpshooter shot is 22. Yes. Second one's 20 mod. Yes. <laughs> 18 regular, three radiant for the first. Uh huh. 18 regular, one radiant for the second. Uh huh. It's dead. Is the vehicle still moving? <laughs> it's still My moving. My first thing will be to throw Raga Draga out of the way and commandeer the vehicle. Okay. And do you want to attempt to stop it? I will attempt to bring it about and drive it back. Okay. Uh, make an intelligence way? check. I was hoping you would say that. You're smart. You'll be fine. I'm so smart. 13? Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, you start messing with the controls. One of them kind of causes the back end to swing about. You think that's how it used its, its uh, wrecking ball. And uh, you quickly, before the thing spins out of control and possibly flips over, you put it back and uh, you keep messing around gently so people don't get thrown off. And you figure it out. You figure out how to move this thing. Do you want to stop it or just turn it around and keep going? Turn it around and drive it back. Okay. Uh, are you going to wait for all roller coasters? The, all the all the bodies. I'll just on. jog beside it. All right. No, I'm certainly not going to. The bodies are on the machine still, right? Uh, you said you wanted to throw Raga Draga out, or just move him? Just move him. Just get yeah, him out of the. They're seat. still on the. Okay, then yes, I want to drive it back. Congratulations! I want you've, the bodies. <laughs> you've acquired a demon grinder. Sick. Woo! Did, did you see me hitchhiking on the side of the road? Did yeah, eventually. Is there a passenger seat like shotgun? There, There's harpoon seats. If you look in the pinned reference material, guys, I've posted the stats for the Demon Grinder. Ooh. It's a gargantuan vehicle. The creature capacity is eight medium creatures. That does not mean it uh, has a weapon for each one of them. It just means it can carry that, m uh, that many. Or if you have more than that, they would have to hang off the side or something. Oh, uh, yes. Cargo capacity, one ton. Um and as you can see, action stations, so the helm, the driver, says requires one crew. The chomper, which is uh, the front, the teethy portion, requires one crew. Grants half cover. Wrecking ball requires one crew. So there are all these stations you guys can work out who wants to sit where. I'm at the helm. I'm driving it. Okay. Wow. I am my own weapon. Jerry so, wants to control the... Uh... <laughs> You can yeah. still be on the vehicle if you want. Jerry yeah, no, I'll be on the, the vehicle. Uh, but yeah, be in charge of what? The wrecking ball is Jerry's. So the wrecking ball is Jerry's, but Rolico scoffs at the weapons on this thing. <laughs> I'm taking the fucking chomper. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll be in the like in the seat of a harpoon. Can't, can you not you? Yeah, can't you use your sharpshooter on a harpoon? Could I? Um, I'd have to think so, about that. It's a ranged weapon attack, and I think that's what. Yeah, DM. <laughs> that's a that's a DM call. Have yeah, fun with that one, Jake. You might um, <laughs> oh, man. you might be able to, but you're not proficient in the harpoon. Okay. So that might prevent it from. I feel like you'd have to be a sharpshooter. You'd need to be proficient in the weapon. That's fair. My bow probably does just as much damage no i think you were correct your first your first uh <laughs> i think you do more damage than it could possibly do <laughs> yeah and uh yeah so you guys have a demon grinder you're gonna go back to chucka and clonk yes does and it does it appear that this also runs on souls it does appear like that and okay. you see a little um you oh, whoops hit my mic uh you see a little gauge next to it made of bones and there's little tick marks with teeth uh it looks like a fuel gauge possibly it's about gotcha. half full 
Uh, Jarvis, can you uh, take a look, see if he has any spare fuel co soul coins for fuel? I figured one oh. of these guys probably had some as yeah. I'm, as I'm then, driving. I would like to recover as many of my 14 arrows that I shot at these guys. You can ten recover of them 10 of guy. them. Jerry's running off to go get his javelin. Do you guys let <laughs> Jerry off? Or do you stop the vehicle and let Jerry off? Yeah, I use it as an opportunity to practice stopping. Okay. Cool. <laughs> fifteen. I on, figure that's uh, an important skill to have. Yes. Fifteen on investigation, looting the bodies. Okay, looking now. If they have anything sweet, you can identify. I can't oh. do it. Shut up. Do they have a pearl? That would be an amazing thing for the team. Raga Draga carries three soul coins. Oh shit! Damn. Yes. He also carries on his head. Raga Draga was on a road trip. He also carries on his head a little uh, filigreed circlet. A what? You heard me. A filigreed circlet. A, a circlet. Uh, like narrow With writing on silver it. wire. Okay. Whatever that is. <laughs> I will Google it. Do you, it's a thing. Do you have... Really, I'm stupid. No. Do you have Identify. I have identify without a stupid gem. Needs a pearl. Oh, I honestly I pearl. did not Thank mean uh, to do that, <laughs> but like I didn't mean to twist that knife, and like I honestly forgot you about the pearl for a second. I literally said it like thirty seconds. I know. Talk about it a lot. That's why I'm saying. <laughs> that's why I'm having this conversation because, yeah. Uh, hate is gonna hate. Uh. <laughs> I did my job. That's one Just thing they can't. Years. They can't. Uh... Can I make a pearl? <laughs> What's your strength? You'd have to have like a twenty-two strength to clench sand between some part of your body. Kairos, you got that right. Sure. It's not twenty. He doesn't have a strength of twenty-two. Oh, oh no! I thought you said a roll of twenty-two. I don't have strength of twenty. No, no, no. I'm not that strong. I can't make pearls. That's ridiculous. All right. Uh, you make it back to Chucka and Clonk. So and... Ragadrak is the only one that had anything on them. Correct. Okay. Uh, other than like the malls, the shitty malls that the two werebores had, and the were rats had nothing. Can we siphon souls out of the leaking souls of the other vehicle? How would you like to do that? Uh, does my character have any idea how that's possible? Make Old an intelligence, intelligence check. Yeah. I'm pretty sure oh, you just get a hose, and if you suck it out... But I'm going to give it, you disadvantage on that, because this is hell. I don't think I could roll any worse. Okay. Oh, no. No, I can't. Three. Yeah, you oh, no, no. Plus uh, intelligence, sorry. Uh, straight intelligence? Yep. So, seven. No idea. Cool. I'll let you add uh, religion or arcana to the, so what? Re intelligence plus religion, or are you just saying just straight? You could pick religion. One. You can. Well, they're the same, so. Okay. Oh, plus arcana, you said? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, plus another, so 10? I don't know why it just, yeah, uh, you still don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of this, but like, Gary uh, poking fun that I forgot, even though he just mentioned the pearl 30 seconds ago. It's so fucking ironic. It's, it's you for you. We, we say things all the time that you don't hear from like oh, 10 seconds ago. So oh, that's I know. why it's funny. Oh, I know. Um, I'm terrible. Yeah. I also tried. I also like pay attention to something else and then totally zone on something and then, yeah, totally miss things. So yeah. it happens. Yeah. Um, that's my why. favorite part of that exchange. I was just joking because you because oh no you can add your proficiency I'm very it's cool and then he adds his proficiency and you just <laughs> go no matter. you still don't no it doesn't matter at all <laughs> that's what I was laughing that's what I was laughing <laughs> like yeah. the most it would maybe be a three yeah. or four a seven <laughs> oh wait no you can add your proficiency ten nope still no well I wanted to play it Hilarious. fairly <laughs> so, just yeah fun. I get it it's just really funny. Yeah, I should have the known funniest the three. sequence. Of if events. I get to add seven, that's not going to get me what I want. Yeah, what do you think the DC on knowing how an infernal war machine would work on Avernus would be like? Touche. 
I think I, it would. I think it would be uh, high twenties. Yeah, I was that was twenty minimum plus. Plus the disadvantage that I took. I, yeah, all these things. Yeah, <laughs> you, For, and you're enough. like neutral. You're not even evil, so. Right. You know, I think I think Chuck and Clonk will probably want to fix their own machine and you know keep using it. I don't so do I see? Do I? St- oh, fair enough. Yeah. They might just want this one if we're done with it eventually. Um, I'm, oh, with I'm, excuse me. Yeah, um, this is we don't this plan one. on staying here uh, forever, Gary. No, but uh, we can certainly bring the car back. Gary if and Brian had the appropriate response. <laughs> <laughs> I just I'm don't sorry, see us we're getting, getting this, this thing away. out Fuck. of here. We just then got one, this. Once we're topside, you have a massive Mad Max finding vehicle. soul coins. Yeah, um, no. Did you listen to any of them? You can get soul coins from like literally anybody. Do you know how no, many I'm people saying, are up there? They're I'm, all over the place. No, no, I mean, yeah, we're Mad like, Mag- out of though. hell. Like once yeah. we're out of hell, we take yeah. it with us. Yeah. How do you get and a bunch coins? of soul coins? I'm okay. telling you right now, like literally a person standing on the street is a potential soul coin. This thing has teeth and a mouth on it. It probably creates soul coins as you eat creatures. I don't know how it works oh. yet, but there's a lot of souls up in the material plane. I don't wow. see where you're hanging up. It's getting well. real dark. Real. There are, dark. There's a lot of evil souls up there. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. Hey. <laughs> Lulu's here. <laughs> Hey, Kairos. Careful with your words. <laughs> I, like- it was implied. I, I assumed it was implied. As a reward for bringing this vehicle back, would you like to eat a bean? Um, I'll cook it up, I suppose. Do you have many of them? You don't usually eat one bean. That seems silly. I take the bean and I throw it at him. Oh, oh my. <laughs> you're, you're on the machine, Oof. right? Oh, I, we're still on the machine. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. we got off. Uh, do you want to get off and like if, throw if it? If we were off the machine, I would have done it. I didn't realize we were actually still on the machine. No, let's not do that. Okay, so I can't really throw it. He's driving. Keep half cover. Wouldn't have been. Do you want to? So you approach. You approach the tormentor with Chuck and Clock, who are their beaks are agape, uh, and they're not saying anything. And finally, Chuck goes, "Good show." And, uh, yeah, well, you guys want to disembark? And do you want to throw the bean once you disembark? Do- I will disembark, and you'll see once I get out of the driver's seat that I am um, extremely bloody. Uh, I'm, I'm bleeding profusely. The entire helm seat area is just just oh, pools and pools of blood. Be. Um, we gotta teach you how to do damage from far away. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure wounds. Uh, just a uh, just to cure wounds on myself. You're Gary throwing one of the beans back with his with his javelin. Hey, Ooh, hey, guys, javelin. if he threw a bean from the bag, I feel like. Do you guys realize that that that's what I think he did? Is that what you did, Gary? Yeah, that's what. Jarvis I mean. has no idea what these beans do. I, I agree, yeah. but us as players do. Yeah, and yeah. he threw a yeah. bean at that, to heal that's me. That's why I said, "Oh it. shit!" When he and that's why me. I was like, as soon as I step off, I heal myself at least a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a d100, Gary. We're doing this. Jarvis wants to know what these beans do. <laughs> we're, we're playing the deck of many things light. <laughs> This campaign goes. I wanted to add a little bit of fun. If you had identify, you would know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Middle that finger number. Let's see. Which one is that on the D one hundred table? Would you have to roll identify on each individual bean? No, I wouldn't make <laughs> Random you do effect. That. that would be impossible. Gary. What's the number there, Gary. Ooh, tell the DM the that. number. Um, you looked at uh, the table already. Yeah, after oh, I rolled, was I not shame. supposed to? No, no, I tell you. Oh, I was going to. Oh, got I should it. make you That's roll again. That's where the mystery comes from, Gary. That's roll where again. the mystery comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Since I have to roll again, it was a fruit tree. And just tell me. All right. The sorry, number. I thought I was. Close that window. What happened. Close that got window. <laughs> Fine. Oh god, this could be much worse. <laughs> I mean, for all you know, Jake has a custom table of bean yeah. effects. The portal opens up and 20 crabs and 
Barrel of Monkeys. Yes, we <laughs> picked Sixty nine. Nice. Oh, cool. Down. This is fun. <laughs> Could have been worse. Yeah, there's some. Bad you guys shit hear up. some rumbling? <laughs> the ground starts to vibrate. Chucka and Clonk climb atop their tormentor, looking very scared. Uh-oh. I climb into the driver's seat of ours. Oh, I no. get on top of ours. I also get on ours. <laughs> Jarvis, get off. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for what comes. Jarvis, of... to be fair, I well, while, while I knew, I, I was trying to play my character and have no oh, idea what I this just, thing does. To be right. fair. Jarvis can ignore Kairos if he wants to. <laughs> can I have inspiration for fucking around and causing havoc? Actually, oh. yes. Uh, the f <laughs> the fact that you finally pulled a bean out of that thing made me happy, and I appreciate that. So, a massive boulette burrows out of the ground. Roll initiative. <laughs> I got a thing. What's a boulette? A big thing with a lot of armored plates. Uh, here, I will show you. That explains you. everything. Yep. I, I shall show you. <laughs> Thought it might. You're welcome. <laughs> Actually, can you just... No follow-up questions. Can you just Google it? Because I don't want to have to go through the hassle of... What's yeah, it called? How do you spell it? B-U-L-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. <laughs> oh, oh wow. boy. Damn. I picked a... At least we have this shiny vehicle to combat this with. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's a great a way to thing. test our toy since I have the chomper. It's a good thing. All right, what did everyone get? I guess it makes sense for me not to read it and let you do it. I get why now. 19 for me. Are we counting or do you just want to know? 25 to 20. 22. 20 to 15. 16. 10 to f uh, 15. Or just what'd you get, Rollercoast? Five. What world is this? That Sorry, you six. Five and I get a 19. <laughs> this is hell, Brian. <laughs> Jarvis. Jarvis chomp chomps. Chomp chomp chomp. And it's plus nine to hit. Cool. Oh. Is it right in front of the machine? No. Oh, I figured it like was right next to us. Got it. No. So I can't chomp chomp. Okay, then I hold my chomp chomp. Okay. You want to hold it until he drives it in front of... Yes. Okay, cool. Until I can chomp chomp. Yep. Kairos. I'm going to drive it so that it can chomp. <laughs> um, I'm going to drive, yeah, right at the bullet. Mission <laughs> accomplished. Uh, um, and if I can drive it so that he gets the chomp and then position it so that, uh, Jerry, you at the wrecking ball again? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So if I can position it so he can get his chomp and then possibly Jerry can get his wrecking ball shot. Yeah, you'll have the movement to do that. Then I'll do that. Um, actually, it says, uh, I should link you the rules for that. I'll just allow it this round or this. Is it like one or other? One or the other? There's like a bonus action thing where you can. Uh, I'd have to relook it, look at it, but I don't gotcha. want to do that right now. So we'll just allow it. Uh, go ahead, Jarvis, with your chomp, chomp. Twenty-one to hit. Yes. No, yeah. Twenty. Fourteen plus seven. Yes. Or fourteen plus nine. Yeah. Um. Sixty-six plus four piercing. Uh. Did I do that? It's you just do sixty-six plus four and rolling with right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh. Twenty-six damage this thing closes surprisingly quickly uh maybe it's spring-loaded or something but it goes and with a chomp and a clang of infernal iron it chomps down on this heavily armored beast and does a good amount of damage to it and it is no longer looking as hungry still hungry but uh good job uh kairos 
we'll say you swing it around and Jerry's next. So Jerry, go. Okay, so it's, it says for me to do an, like basically a regular weapon attack. It does. So I to use the to the wrecking ball. Um, so so do I? What do I? Yeah, yeah. Just plus nine. Yeah. But but do I add my no. my modifiers and stuff? Oh, okay. The plus nine. The plus nine is the modifiers. So. Um, yeah. yeah. So I rolled a thirteen, and then it just says, "Do you want me to roll all the d8s or?" Uh, yeah. It says so, forty, and then parentheses. So thirteen was the roll on the die. To hit. Yes. Yes. Okay, so it's like twenty something. Yeah, 21. you hit, and then you roll eight d eight plus four. You can roll that however you want. That's. Nice. <laughs> I think buying the the dice calculator on iOS was the best investment for. So what was it? Plus four at the plus end. Plus four, yeah. For situation. So I got like forty-one. That. Is there an very, app you recommend? Very different from the yeah, forty. Yeah, it's called um, Dice X, won. Dice Space E X. Dice X Machina. I think it at one point was called that. Um, so 41, Dave? Machina. Yes. The blue boulette is very bloody. Hey, guys, it's really bloody now. I did that. <laughs> uh, it's now the boulette's turn. And it's going to run. And no! Burrow. And burrow. Oh, and burrow. Poor roller coaster. I can shoot into a hole. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I might have to get up to it. Yeah. Uh, that's the situation. It's burrowed. You want to jump off and try to approach yeah, how, the hole? How far away is it? Uh, about, we'll say 30 feet for the okay. fun hey, of this. Hey, roller coaster, you sure you want to do that? I've already jumped. <laughs> I'm already going. As you approach the hole, you guys from the machine, you see two massive boulettes from both sides of roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. There was only one boulette in this encounter, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, look in the hole, make a perception check. A plus four, 19. Yeah, you're fine. You see it, have a shot. Or two, or five, or whatever you take. <laughs> it's or a all. new initiative, so I get three. Sharpshooter, that's 15 to hit? Yep. No, that doesn't hit. Okay. Sharpshooter, that's a nat one. And the nope. last shot, which is the Dread Ambusher, is 19 to hit. Uh, that does hit. Your first two uh, arrow bolts are broken. No! It's okay. Twenty-four damage on that last hit. And you kill it. Nice work. That was fun. It was fun. Did we get Did that arrow out of it? survive? Yeah, the bullet is made out of pure soul coins. <laughs> yes! it's, like, it's like a video game. You just... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a boulette. Like, it has, like... Oh, I thought you were actually giving a soul coin. So I was like, that's cool. <laughs> Meat. Me took it seriously. Point. You could dig it out if you want and, and, and <laughs> harvest it. Can I see if my last arrow, the one that hit, survived? I just want to see an episode... Like in an alternate universe of us, where it's just like, yeah, you get soul coins, then we just throw every single bean and just figure out <laughs> how what do we how many beans we can convert into soul coins. Uh, yeah, there could be a negotiation where I guess you could use beans. So that's what these beans do. Indirect way to get soul coins. Lulu says they create boulettes. Yeah, that seems like a weird thing for a bean to do. <laughs> Well, they're all different colors. Maybe this one does something. To no, yeah. no. <laughs> I mean, maybe it does. We, we, 
maybe. I'm, I'm losing a lot and of arrows. I never got to finish this the game. game. I mean, you could, use, you could use some harpoons, bro, because, I mean, we do, we do have some harpoons here. Not many. Some, though. Why didn't you bring arrows into hell? I did. Hey, weren't we supposed to go to, like, Fort... Uh, Knucklebone? Like finger... Oh, yeah, we were about to talk to Chuck points. and Clonk about that, but... uh, someone, Chuck and Clonk are like, yeah. Someone being happy. Fort Knucklebone. And, um... Speaking of keeping track of things, uh, we've been here three days. Mark off three days of rations. And your rations are starting. They have they started tasting like crap as soon as you got here, and it's been getting worse. And they're absolutely disgusting now. They're still providing nutrients, but they taste like garbage, literal garbage. Is this? The, did I need to subtract any rations last? Well, you no. guys have been here for three days, I think. In, in, oh, to, oh, this is total. Got it. I think I'm doing that right. Do you guys think it's? I think it's three days. I think that's correct. I believe yeah. you're correct. I don't know why I was thinking that's just today. That was stupid. Yeah, we've it's... had three long rests since we've gotten here. Yeah. So that would be four days, wouldn't it? Oh. Or two. Uh... We had one down in the... I thought you only had that... two. Oh, no. We had one down there, and then we had the one you guys did without me. Maybe those were the only two. Yeah. 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 So, Never mind. I think yeah. those are the only two. How many uh, rations does everyone have? 17. Six left. I don't even know where rations are on D&D Beyond. In, in your, your equipment? equipment? Yeah, I was originally had but 25, but I haven't been. I have a ton oh, of cat snacks. Do those count as rations? Uh, yeah, but um, if you eat them five at a time and they still taste like garbage, like everything else. Okay. So I had 25 before I even changed anything. I feel like I've been supposed to be removing them before that. You have. So what do you think is a reasonable amount? You pick. Um. I mean, it sounds like I should probably be somewhere between 15 and 20. It's up to you. All right, I'll go down to 16. Okay. Uh, did you find it, Dave? Yeah. Um, okay. I would just assume I'm just going to put 15 like everyone else. All right. Um, so Chucka and Clonk uh, say... Do you, do you guys... Can you fix your machine? Uh, is, it, is it broken? No, this thing shitted out. And uh, Clonk, Clonk says then after that, uh, we come with you. Do you guys know oh, if yeah. there's any way to take the remaining souls and put it in our new vehicle? It's. Did you ask? I'm sorry. Did you ask? I didn't hear you correctly. Did you ask where? how to put them in your vehicle? If the owners of the... Um, the tormentor know how to take the soul coins out of it. It's empty. Trying to do, he's ahead. asking them if they know how to do what he attempted to do. Yeah, what I failed miserably at. Um, they go, I no. Siphon the souls. They go, no, not possible. Not for us. Useless. And they say, no, you. And uh, they hop on the infernal war machine and uh, point you in the direction of Fort Knucklebone, and what you see is... See, they're not a fortified see. compound sits atop a low plateau that rises out of a crater-pocketed landscape. At the center of the compound is a hill of rust-colored stone that resembles a hand crawling out of the ground, with gaps between the fingers. A jagged wall made of rock, bones, and metal debris surrounds the hand-shaped hill. Other highlights, other highlights visible from this distance include a gatehouse, atop which stands a half dozen small figures with red caps on standing watch. I will now link a picture for reference. Because I like it, and I think you will too. Won't you join me? If you post it. Fort Knucklebone. There we go. Oh. That's what you see approaching. Sick. And. So the fort is the hand? Yeah. Okay. 
you as you get closer, you see there's like little encampments in between the fingers. Um, oh, now I see. Okay. And uh, yeah, giant spiky wall. Yeah, it's, uh, of debris. Um, Chucka and Clonk yell at the red caps uh, to open. And, uh, the, the little red caps, these little gnomish creatures with red long caps on, some of which are dripping with some sort of slimy substance, uh, say, uh, no, do you have sand in your pockets? One of them yells at you. I have beans. No beans. We'll let you in if you have sand in your pockets. And I, I grab sand it. off of the ground and put it in my pocket. I look at Chunka and Clonk. All of you! Uh, I'm Do pretty Chunk sure I Clonk already have sand in my pockets. We were just walking through the desert. Yeah, I already got sand in my pockets. It gets everywhere. Chunka and Clonk aren't doing everywhere. it. They're just shaking their heads. It, like, no? <laughs> I put sand with my mage hand in their pockets. They're going like this. Uh, your mage hand, by the way, has started turning into, like, a skeletal hand um, the more you've used it here. Uh, it no longer looks friendly. I tell them I have sand in my pockets, but I do not. Liar! What do they know? I put sand in Relicus's pocket, too. I okay. just put sand in my <laughs> own pocket. Uh, they go, okay, now jump up and down. Do Chuck and Clonk jump up and down? They start, like, kind of doing, like, going up on their tiptoes or whatever, the tip talons. I just mimic them because I feel like they should know what to do here. Poor show, poor show. We'll let you in, but you suck. And the gates swing open. And uh, as you're passing by, these little red caps in this watchtower start throwing pieces of metal at you guys. It's not doesn't hurt, but they're just like, poor show, poor show, not fair, no fun, boring. Guys, and... I could kill all of them. <laughs> <laughs> you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. I, uh, I immediately, or not immediately, after a little bit of that, I stand up and I just shout with thaumaturgy, silence! And it just booms and, out. And they go silent. And then they go, you suck real hard. You I suck sw- hard. I you splash. suck. <laughs> and I start shouting, I, you suck back at I splash <laughs> no, acid at one of them. With thaumaturgy. You, sp- you do what? I splash acid at one of them. Do you, like, uh, acid not, at, not at them, but near them. Acid spray? Uh, acid splash. It's my cantrip. Okay. Uh, just a bubble of acid. Not at, like... Not directly at them, but, like, so it lands, like, near them and just, like... Because they're throwing shit at us, so I'm just throwing shit back. Yeah, they start uh, flipping you off and uh, continue to yell at you and uh, make fun of you. And, uh, yeah, they're just taunting. But they're not... They're not... Uh, no, I know, yeah, that's... I didn't, I didn't want to hit them, I just want to fuck with them like they're fucking with us. Fair enough, you, you have accomplished that um so entering this area it's enclosed by uh it's basically littered with trash and mechanical parts once you enter um some of it put together in a way that resembles a vehicle ramshackle structures built from the same junk as the outer wall provide shelter in various random spots. A platoon of small fey creatures mills about. These are the similar ones from the um, from the watchtower, but these ones that are kind of milling about aren't currently uh, taunting. And uh, they look like feral gnomes. So, yeah, I'm going to post a picture of these guys too because it's also a cool picture. Um, maybe I won't. Where did it go? No, I will. Bum, bum, bum. These guys were at the, um, Descent into Avernus event that D&D put on. They had actual actors playing these red caps and acting like this. 
It was pretty entertaining. <laughs> Do they have any pearls worth 100 GP? Do you want to ask them? Doesn't look yeah! Right. So you yell at them, Hey, do you have any pearls? And they say, No, we don't have pearls. We would not give you pearls. If do you have any silk? Could I buy a pearl? I don't have pearls, stupid. Jarvis, I don't think these people things have pearls. I'm continuing to drive. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Chuck, uh, Chuck, the uh, they have a bunch of other shit. Chuck, uh, uh, points to a spot to park the vehicle and says, stop there. Stop there. I go and stop there. Okay. Um, are there, are there keys to this vehicle? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, uh, so I'll double check on that, off, but so currently, like when you when you ask um, Chuck uh, like about that, they say no, it's fine, no touch. Uh, um, okay. Hope Raga Draga doesn't have like a, a wife or a child who thinks this is theirs. Because <clears throat> Clonk not. runs off <laughs> uh, in the direction of in between one of those fingers of this fortress. And uh, about a minute later, um, uh, he comes back and he's repeating the same phrase. What a deal! Patience is a virtue. Can't keep the boss waiting. What a deal! Patience is a virtue. Can't keep the boss waiting. And behind Clonk, moments later, leading a tall creature wearing a long, tattered, uh, a long tattered shift is a shift a thing yeah all right like that a, is new to me like a, sh a shawl just like a draped piece of cloth okay wearing a shift covered in mud blood and mold and worse um mm. uh, this hag's eyes seem to move independently of each other approaching her straggly brown hair hanging in front of them resting on each shoulder are red-eyed ravens that are scrutinizing you as she approaches. Behind her, a hulking creature built of disparate fiendish parts trudges, moaning and hopping, hopping on one foot as it walks. Behind him, you see some of these red caps doing this little dance motion type thing. Uh, then, as she gets close, both of the hag's eyes focus keenly on your group. And Lulu... Uh, gets most of this hag's attention, and she goes, "My goodness, Lulu's oh, back. Where did you find such a treasure such as this?" Re referring to Lulu. Uh, uh, she, she, she's with she was us. just here when we got to uh, incorrect Elturel. That's no, we're she's not in Elturel. She can answer for herself, probably. She's not. Just no, I, I, I went with them. We came down here because I, uh, I know Chuck and Clonk. And Mad Maggie says, "Well, my magpies have made some interesting friends." Uh, Mad Maggie picture. Mad Maggie picture. Here we go. That's what you see. Pretty gross, huh? Gross. Pretty gross. Yeah. To her on the left? No, that's a <laughs> fiendish golem. Was that a joke, Dave? No. Oh. I took it as one. That's why I hate these these read aloud boxes. Most people just tune them out. I know I do. Um, yeah, and she goes, Well, what could you be doing down here? And Chuck uh, goes, yeah, what what, what could you be doing down here? And Lulu says, well, I'm kind of trying to regain my memories that were gone. And she, and she goes, well, I might be able to help you with that. And she starts fiddling with this pouch. Uh, kind of like a fanny pack around her her uh, waist as she says that. 
Um, any pearls in there? <laughs> pearls? I uh, don't have any pearls in there. Are you looking for a pearl for a arcane reason? Yes. Okay, well, maybe that can be arranged. Uh, or maybe we can barter for it. And she goes, hmm, so what, uh, what, what do you remember? What uh, memories have you, have you gotten? And Lulu is starting to get a little shy. And also because I don't want this to, to be a social scene between me and myself, uh, she kind of goes quiet about what memory she's, uh, little my Lulu, she's, uh, a bit nervous when it comes to this and you know it's tough not remembering stuff you remember quite a bit actually uh since we came down here most recently that uh essentially she was helping uh someone from eltrell a hell rider um had a pretty wicked sword fighting a huge demon a palace exploded around her like came up out of the ground but then it got scabbed over she interrupts you and says whose sword don't know I think it was Zeriel's. Yeah. <laughs> and Lulu, Lulu says that, and and Mad Maggie goes, "Ooh, you don't <laughs> and, say." And Kairos's face falls a little bit. Yep. Yeah. I was purposely not <laughs> gonna say whose that was. Damn it, Lulu. Well, <laughs> this group has become suddenly more interesting to me. I may be able to help you with that their memory there lulu uh it may take me about a day to arrange the ritual if you are interested uh i can promise you shelter uh while you're here and a meal if you like uh i see that uh is that your war machine oh yeah that's ours yeah or she's doing this face and she's like and who did you get it off of? Mm, someone dead. Right. Uh, do you Which, have those bodies? Yeah. Uh, I think Basically, we, we didn't push them yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. We're saving them. I think we can use them as fuel or something. Oh, uh, no. They're... Uh, quite yet. They're werebores. Some good meat. Werebores, you say? I wonder if it's Ragadraga's crew. Yeah, it's Ragadraga. Well, uh, do we know that? We don't know technically who the hell they were. We didn't get a chance. Uh, to... He looked like a ragged dragon. Chuck or Clonk said it. Yeah. As they were driving. Oh, did they? Yeah. Uh, and she goes, "Wow, how long have you folks been in Avernus?" Uh, well, I mean, if you're talking about Avernus days. proper, about a uh, half a day Just... down here. You know, we were up in that. In, up, we were up there. Is pointing towards Altaro. Oh yeah, like, we're Altaro. up there for a couple days. Uh, but so you've been down here on the ground for a couple, yeah. two, three days. Yeah. And you killed yourself, a war chief. In two, three, she starts cackling very loud, and uh, very obnoxiously, but she's quite tickled by this story. Jerry just she, laughs nervously. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> you, hear that, you hear that roller coaster you turned a war chief into a pin cushion yeah there were i mean if that's what a war chief is down here pretty weak well uh uh ragged draga has been known to travel uh kind of lightly uh i guess you caught him with his pants down oh, i wonder okay. if he was coming I told him not to come back this way uh, towards the fort. Listen. Well, you seem to be coming at, at your magpies there. Uh, we just happen to be... Oh, no. They uh, just come up with them. Ragadraga wants to marry me, so... Wanted. That's going to be possible anymore. That's definitely not going to be possible. <laughs> it wouldn't have been possible when he was alive. So, that's... I am just astounded and gobsmacked that you all now have a war machine and that is quite an accomplishment it works pretty well, well too might yeah. have uh, scratched your back maybe you can scratch our back how did you scratch my back 
got rid of your guy that won't leave you alone. Oh, it's fine. He would have been turned back at the gate and would have been destroyed if he tried to force his way in. Uh, you did no such thing. You did yourself more of a favor, because now you have a war machine, and if you're looking to travel the wastes of Avernus, you're going to need a war machine to get anywhere in any amount of time. I assume you're trying to do it before that city there is, comes down to the ground fully. Mm, ideally, yeah. Uh... Yeah, so you will need a war machine, and that was, uh, yeah, you did yourself a favor. So, congratulations on that. Uh, would you be interested uh, in – I can definitely set up a ritual of some kind to get these memories back for Lulu, hopefully. Inside check. Go yeah. ahead. Um, you're being fairly generous. Is this going to cost us? Uh, 17. Me, 17. Uh it seems like she's being genuine, like she actually wants to help restore the memories um, yeah. of Lulu. Uh, yeah. she's, she says uh, to you, Rolikos, let's just say I collect the remnants of Zeriel's fall from grace. It is my hobby, you see. Sounds and, like more than a hobby. Uh, well, it, it's it's something I enjoy very much. I love seeing the, her pain and her suffering. And if I can get that in the form of Lulu's memories, whatever that may be, I will sure try. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty we'd, sure. Yeah, we'd yeah. love to sure you'll find that. That's what it seems like we're, we're headed towards in terms of recovered memories. Yeah, I mean, Lulu, yeah, if, uh, if, you, uh, you if you're know. okay with it, well, we can hang out for a day. That's fine by me. Lulu says, oh, is it going to hurt? And uh, Mad Maggie um, says, oh, no, sweetie. It's just going to be a bit of a dream journey uh, that uh, you'll relive some things. I don't know what they may be, but they it sure should work of uh, on getting your memories restored. And uh, she says, please, I guarantee uh, you to have a place to sleep where none of the infernal beings can get to you. Unless, of course, we are overrun by some sort of demonic army that destroys our walls and overwhelms us and uh then in that case i cannot guarantee you uh protection does but, that happen regularly regularly oh uh, no we've built up these walls quite quite uh tall and uh imposing and uh each watchtower is equipped to repel anything like that uh in the it's been a while since we have one of those, but uh, no, it doesn't happen too okay. often. Um, uh, so she says, I'm going to go get started on this ritual, if you don't mind. Uh, have a look around, and uh, a meal will be provided, uh, if, if you so choose. What's the uh, average currency around here? Just curious, for the people used to trade? Oh, soul coins and, uh, well, magic items. Uh, Anybody down here take regular gold? Gold is is taken, but it is not of the not same a, value from the material plane. Not a good ex exchange rate? It is a terrible exchange, exchange rate, if I may be saying. All right. And, uh... Yeah, she um, she leaves you, and before she leaves, I ask her yeah. about that pearl again. Oh, she says, "I'll tell you what. Um, let's just see how things go over the next day. Why don't you ask me again after the ritual?" Sounds fine. I want to make sure that you uh, go through with this. So, uh, ask me again after the ritual. She walks off with her massive flesh golem who's like kind of limping uh, 
Anyone who wants to can make an insight check. 16. You think he's... 20. Both of you think he's got... Jerry doesn't think so, but uh, apparently from that face. uh, That's a one. (laughs) Rolikos and Kairos, you think he's kind of doing this hop and favoring one foot, and you think he's got something in that foot uh, that's bothering him. But he's got that massive thing in his mouth sewed to it. Um, You also uh, insightfully recognize that he may not be that smart. (laughs) <laughs> considering he pays no mind to the red caps that make fun of him and copy his dance. They call it a dance. Kindred spirit. Um, and at this point, everyone, uh, you are free to do what you like in the fort. Um, Sweet. yeah. Uh, there's, there's a, uh, you got Mickey, and then you see in the distance, you see a floating head that's on fire, a skull. And um, it is desperately looking around the ground, uh, just kind of looking in trash piles. And then you see like a little uh, sh- beam of some sort shoot from it. And then the trash pile kind of g- explodes a little bit. And he goes and looks more. Um, you also see those ravens with the red eyes fly around and they're kind of eyeing you and uh uh it's just the two of them right yeah just the two ravens okay just the two of us and we can call it now if you like sure probably before launching into a shopping session okay um (laughs) we'll get back with the shopping session next week (laughs) i'm really glad that bag of beans thing <laughs> worked no out for you guys. You didn't want to throw yeah, a mummy lord at us? I did. Oh, I did. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah. How many beans did you... Did... I have, I'm now down to eight. Oh, okay. Well, that's still a lot of chances. That's <laughs> plenty of beans. Yeah, I think I had nine. I just updated it. Let me double check. If I had... Yeah, I, would... I had nine. Now I have eight. Cool. And you know, you can throw more than one at once. Mm-hmm. I know. It's a terrible my, idea. My character doesn't know how bad that is, though. <laughs> Which is fantastic. See, my, char- my character is convinced that that, that specific color is going to keep throwing the same thing. Mm. So you might be able to get Mad Maggie to... My character uh, is going to try to throw that, you know, maybe, you know, at a really bad time and make things worse. Yeah. Jerry, I think you're right. Or Dave. Yeah, you Good. could trade some to Mad Maggie and get, like, I don't know, soul stuff. coins. <laughs> stuff. Um, which one of you is carrying the soul coins? Jarvis found them, so I assumed he was. Don't we have a bag of holding? I have one. Um, how about we each, we have three, why don't we each take? When you grab the three soul coins, it did feel like it was an un, it was a burden upon your soul. Uh... So it may be a good idea to spread them out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll end there and be back next week, Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific. And uh, if you're around Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific, I play in a Star Wars Fate Accelerated game and uh, escape some Sith Inquisitors last game. And now we're on the run from Imperial Starships. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. Awesome. Um, anything else, guys? You got anything? Um, I have started to stream on Twitch, so you can come by and watch me at twitch.tv slash IHC the Roz. That is spelled I-H-C the Roz. T-H-E-R-O-Z. What does IHC stand for? We, we are the I Hate Clans clan. Ah, the anti clan clan. Yep. Nice. Nice. Uh, cool. Uh, check that out and, uh, look out for the podcast and catch up if you need to be good to yourself. Be good to others. We'll see. I'm about to cough.
<laughs> oh, 